What's going on guys? Welcome back to Angling Attics Pacific Northwest. We're here on the Oregon coast to do some jetty fishing. So let's get out there and see if we can find some lingcod, some black bass. I don't even care what it is. I just want to get back out here and get a fish on the line. So let's hop to it. that thing sink out there a bit. A few little twitches. My goodness, what is on here? All right, getting closer. Wow. <laughs> it's actually taking line. <laughs> what is this thing? Oh my god. Is that a link card? That might have been a link card. Oh my god! That is the first link caught I've ever looked out here. Oh man. No way. Wow. I gotta get down here without falling. No way. Ugh. That has got to be a keeper too. Oh, now I'm wet. Now I'm wet. Wow. Check this thing out, you guys. That's so worth getting wet over. No way. Wow. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Oh. oh my goodness. That's 22. Exactly 22 inches, so just the keeper size. Wow, there it is. That is a beautiful wing cod. Maybe for some of you guys that haven't seen the teeth on these things, check those things out. That is an amazing fish. So I don't know if I had brought it up, but that was one of these little Kitex swim baits on a half ounce jig head here. And uh, yeah, it just ended up slamming it. I was really surprised uh, to have something ripping line off of my reel. I fish this jetty so often, and even when I get some of those big bass, They'll uh, bend your rod in half and maybe get a little bit of line, but that is the first time I looked down at my reel and just saw that it was spitting out line as the fish was uh, beelining back for the middle of the jetty here. All right, let's get out there. Woo! 
Trying to get us. There you go, buddy. Right, unfortunately, I snagged up and uh, lost my jig with that swim bait on there. So what we're gonna do now is just another half ounce jig but I've got a, a different swim bait on there. The water is kind of dark right now, so I figured maybe switching up to something that's a little bit brighter that uh, might stand out in the water a little bit better uh, might be a good idea. I guess we'll see what happens. Oh, it's beautiful out here today. Oh, what's it gonna be? Oh no, it's in the rocks. Ah, we'll give it a little bit of slack for that rod tip. There we go. Had to wait it out. Oh, that. Another nice bass. Oh, we got another. Put down the side there. Another nice bass. I love catching these things. They are a lot of fun. Hi, right, buddy. You get to go back. All right, ready? There you go. Thank you. And we've got an incoming tide right now, and I usually don't fish an incoming tide. I always try and wait for a slack tide an hour before slack into slack tide and about an hour after slack tide. And then usually I just call it quits because you got too much water moving, too much potential of uh, snagging up, losing gear, and it's just a game that I really don't like to play. So. All right, well, things are really starting to pick up. So I think what I'm gonna do since that rig I was using is a little less effective. Uh, I'm gonna go to a little bait rig with a dropper loop on it. I'm gonna use some worms. So we're probably gonna end up, if we catch anything, maybe uh, some kelp green lean, some little striped perch or something like that. But I guess we'll see if we can get something on. These things are so cool and I'm very happy that it just got it in the lip. That is a little tiny kelp green lean. 
They're a very cool looking fish. You guys check out the blues on there. All right, little buddy. No surprise there, but always good to uh, get another fish on the line. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to replace that. It really kind of just did it in. All right. All right, you guys, well, I wanna get this thing cleaned up. So it's got such a fat belly, but I wanna see what this thing has been eating. Oh, all right, she is all cleaned up, ready to go. One more shot. A, these are such amazing fish, I absolutely, could not be any more excited to have walked out there and uh, caught this thing. Just beautiful, amazing looking fish. And who does not want to check out stomach contents before we eat? Get this out of there. Oh, it's, oh my goodness. You can see that it is what's left of another fish that's uh, actually pretty gross and cool at the same time I am pretty excited to eat this fish. But it's got some shallots, some lemon, a healthy amount of butter, unhealthy amount. <laughs> All right, I think we are ready for these shallots. Uh, that is gonna add some amazing flavor to this fish that already tastes incredibly amazing itself. I grabbed a nice big fat chunk of this fish, this lean cod, and uh, actually pulled the skin off. So we just got this nice fat slab of meat here. I'm gonna throw in a couple of these lemons. I think we'll add a little lemon pepper. Is rather tasty. All right. Oh yeah. Oh man, that smells so good. Man, lean cod for the win. All right, I think this thing is ready to eat. Oh my God. Let's slice up some avocado here. Oh, just a slab of lean cod. Oh man. Handy dandy spork. So normally I would say this is the moment of truth, but I already know this fish is gonna be absolutely delicious. <laughs> Just some avocado. Mm. I would have to say, arguably, lean cod has got to be the best tasting fish out there. Which makes me wonder, uh, what is your go-to fish when it comes to the tastiest of them all? My vote is right here for fresh caught lean cod. Mm. It just flakes right off.
が、ね、うんうんうんうんうん the lemon the shallots paired up with this avocado is this is perfect man ah that is gonna do it you guys that was Perfecto. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, nice little black bass all right buddy there you go all right all right you guys well that is gonna do it for this week I hope you liked the video if so hit that like button I'm gonna leave you guys with a beautiful Oregon Coast sunset a couple videos you may have not seen yet. See you guys next week.